The local peasant armor bed. Then I get Feast, rid of him. Famine, and everything in between. Oh, okay, I guess not. Greeting, stranger. The winter has been hard on my family this year. In the forest behind her, you see movement. And I didn't even change my voice when she stopped speaking. I'm going to... I gave her five food last time. I'm going to give her... I can get to the end with, with by running... And I'll run out of food. So hopefully I get something else in here. I'm going to give her one food. Takes your food eagerly, passes some children who suddenly rush from the forest and have stretch. Well, the children eat, the woman speaks briefly of what she had seen and heard recently. Oh, yeah, I forgot it does that one. That's what it does, I forgot. Okay, nice. So we know what those are going to be. Probably didn't really need to trade food anyway, because I'm going, I'm all going, I'm going this way all the time anyway. I found a goblin treasure cave. Will you enter? Yes. I love I love these. I love maze of traps. They're fun. Bring it. I'm ready. What are these going to do? Oh god. <laughs> well, I I got so stuck rolling then. Okay, we'll just take our way carefully around here. Nice, we kind of messed up there. It looks like my my cone of cold stuff is actually affecting those, which is kind of cool. Whoa! Oh man, I am not doing well today. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, oh what is what is going on? <laughs> I couldn't get off of them. They like trapped me on them and hit me twice. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Oh my gosh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Mage's gloves. Kill an enemy, launches. Now this is my kind of magic. Death and the transmutation of energy. Magic missiles! Oh, I can fire magic missiles at people. Gold. And one more. Oh, Democles. Okay, sweet. Right, well, I would love if there's like a shop here. Nope. I'm going to so I have it. always felt a kinship to the puppy. God damn maze of traps. I hate them now. And also recall. I don't like I, I used to love I used to like maze of traps and now I hate maze of traps. Maze of traps and me don't get along anymore. You may want you wander around I feel the poppies. Too late you realize that the poppies are making you sleepy. I don't know. Wake up groggy and disorientated. Are they all the same or are they just changed? Oh, this is wonderful. The cave mouth! Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm- I need food. The lizard men are nothing if not patient. He waits for you. Okay, he's here somewhere. Heroes remains right. I really need So often, this is how the story ends, is it not? The hero tries, the hero dies. Their memory is celebrated, but they are lost. No, no, they win. You pass a funeral. It's obvious from the size of the procession that the deceased was a well-loved figure. You were approached by the cleric. Um, the great hero fell, defended our beloved town of Wendermaid. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts, but must be returned to his hometown for the proper burial rites to be completed. Will you do this, traveler? I'll take the hero's belongings, yes. Thank you! This will mean the world to his family. The town would have been revolted had these artifacts not been returned. Had a, would have revolted, I don't know. It's not far to the hero's t town, hometown. Look for the town cleric when you get there. Ooh, Such an rich. elegant use of rage and anger. You wouldn't expect it of the barbarian hordes. You know what? I'm gonna give it a go. Ooh. Damage increases your go up combo tiers. Yeah. Take those. And hurry! It's not wise to anger the spirits of the dead by delaying their proper rights. Hey, Burden. After five steps, the player loses 50% max health. Let us see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. 
Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Uh, what, 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 what? Still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantages. Oh, what? Oh, God. So, oh, my God. I'm going to lose like 50 of my max health if I. There's a change there. Oh my god. Gotta get there now. I'm buggered. I've got no food. Lost now in you the have desert. reached a point from which the path ahead is unclear. What will be your solution? Okay, so hmm. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Pray to the old god for salvation one day. Pray to the old god for salvation. Oh god, this is bad. 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 I don't know this one. Shit. Two monster cards, one health pain card. Nasty. I'm gonna die! I am so gonna die! Oh my god. I'm so gonna die. I'm so gonna die. Oh my god. I got hit, but man, if I could have time heals right now, that'd be awesome. So, Berserk definitely helps with the damage. Dealer draws you two game cards. Food. Oh my god, thank you. And gold. Okay, I need to heal up before I go to the fight the boss. Oh my god, yes! Call for the priest! <sighs> In a shady grove of the bean trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Approach the shop. Oh, you have... Saved me, dear priest. You have saved my hide. Yeah, okay, so what blessings have you got? Fix triple damage against foes who are stunned. After your first chance card pick, you may return the card and draw any again after shuffling. Any kill made using an axe grants player free health. That's pretty cool. Uh, at the start of each combat, a random opponent's highlighted. If that creature is the first to die, when it, then it pops out five gold, which the player may collect. Okay, well, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal wounds. I'm sure you are grateful for that. And then I'm going to... Can't do any of this, can I? I'll just sell the hero's weapons. It's cool, don't worry. The free magic missiles thing was cool. I saw that actually coming into play as I was playing then. I guess I'll get. I guess I could sell that one. A weapon of precision, unlike you, if you don't mind me saying. Wait, I do actually, Dick. Thanks. Um, I'm gonna buy some more food. Okay, so how many was it? Five steps. I lose fifty percent max health. So one, two, three, four. It'll be five. Okay. Treasure chest. Hopefully, I chest. get rid of the curse. See what it contains. If I get to the place. I'm curious. Exploring a dungeon, you see a treasure chest at the end of the hall. Approach the treasure chest. Alright, success. Here we go. Okay, I think it was that one. I I'm, I find it near impossible to follow those. <laughs> the wall is silent as you move forward. You approach the treasure chest. People are like, people keep saying that they can do it. But I, I, don't, I don't see it. Only on some of these ones I can see it. Oh god, I don't know. No idea. Random guess. The mighty heave, the lock gives way and the spells are yours. There's four game cards. Ooh. Ooh. Mask. 
kids on the player have a Every tool a mage, a mage can create shield. may be used against them. So you can actually pick them up and put them down. I didn't know that. Protected by magic, you would never have the wit to control. You know, I don't want to put this on instead. Really? Is that what you're going to do? It is, yes. Oh, look, the I mages, look. of course, the sought archmage. nothing so fervently as the means to stay the hand of death. They did not succeed, and neither will you. you. Get this one. Let's get this curse gone if we can do this. Look. Look deeply. This is the fate of heroes. You reach Wandermere, hometown of the dead adventurer. The town cleric meets you at the gate. He appears to have been standing there. Turn the hero's sword. There you go. Thank you. This blade will once again be wielded in righteous fury. Do you also have this shield? Yeah. Truly you have done the almighty work in returning this shield. Thank you. Blessed are we who protected and can fell those who trespass against us. Some cards. Lizard Eater. I made that a little too every powerful. Lizard killed. I will have to rebalance that next he's a time. He's a Lizard Eater. Make a work bar. I didn't see that one. That said. Very nice indeed. Services you prepare for you to secret. Uh, for your services, we will prepare for you a secret artifact that you may continue your good work for the dark days ahead. Another token brings you closer to your goals. Do I not get to get rid of the curse? Interesting. Okay, I thought I got rid of the curse by doing that. Okay. What was uh, Will of the Gods? Starlight can pawn by random. Okay, cool. God, I got a lot of those on me. I think we should just... Let's just go and take care of this dude now. Okay, I thought that was where the lizard guy was going to be. I'm about to lose 50% of my health. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. We have this guy quite a lot, haven't we? Up your shoulder of a painful wooden staff to grab your attention. He is Meister Lionel. So yeah, he's a little goblin. Tend to be a Meister. I look, I've started to get tired of doing the same ones over and over again. I was doing them for the sake of the people who might not have seen them before, but watch all the videos. <laughs> Ask him what he needs, give him 20 gold. I have got a lot of gold. Occasionally losing his place, he, he uh, moving different coins around randomly. He attempts to count the gold you place in front of him, he eats them. I wonder how gold tastes. I wonder what it tastes like to eat money. Probably not good. Probably really bad for you. You don't want a bunch of money inside you. Right? Not of it. Don't do it. Slap into his hand. Ah! When you come to, you find yourself in a place you don't. My slander branches the staff and smacks you on the head. When you come to, you find yourself in a place you don't recognize with your blanket tucked comfortably around you. With a blanket tucked comfortably around you. Oh, he moved around. Charity! Ah, the wandering mendicant. Will humanity ever move beyond poverty, religion, and charity? You can't have a priest wandering around on the road. Uh, God show favor those who are less fortunate. Give food to the priest. Yeah, go on then. A worthy decision. I will give you five food. Let me see if I have anything in my sack worth the reward. Such generosity. Oh, God. Really? I gave you food, you bastard. Yes! Aha! The priest explains and draws out a tarnished old ring. You have, I'll have the kids polish it up first. In the meantime, take my blessing. One blessing. On any hit, the player Many inflicts two more damage for each blessing for they the possess. Oh my god, I have a lot of blessings. That's going to do this a lot of damage. tale begins and then proceeds relentlessly. With each step, you will discover a new card and a deeper mystery. So for each, I fix two hundred damage for each blessing card they possess. So eight. Oh, that counts as well. So if that one counts, it's ten. If it's only these ones, then it's an extra eight damage per hit, which is pretty goddamn funny. I really hope that this guy is the one, or I'm going to be buggered. These traveling shows are but mockeries of the true. I'm going to lose half my health now, I think. A challenge for you, 
and a token if you succeed. One day, just as dusk gathers, you reach a large country from hosting a town hosting a traveling circus. Strange sights and stranger smells confront you as you begin to wander between tents and stalls that were once brightly colored, but now are faded with stained dust, stained uh, and stained with dust. Peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys, past wonders and amazements, seeing almost dazed. There's something about this place that dulls your senses, and for a while, you forget your quest. Forget even the path that brought you to this place. Oh boy. So... Choose oh, from no these shit. options. That one. Okay, that's better, than, that's better than failure. You drift along the various stalls and booths, stopping to look at whatever catches your eye. The mysteries of the carnival await you. Oh, Jesus. No idea. That one. Fuck, I thought that was success. You are selected from the crowd to be tied to a wheel. Uh, the wheel begins to spin, and a blindfolded man dressed in black proceeds to throw knives at the wheel. Evidently, he needs more practice. One max health pay card. Oh. Sometime uh, later, you find yourself standing at the edge of a forest. The sounds of the crowd behind you. Day is just dawning, but which day? Looking back, you see the ruined buildings of a country town long ago abandoned. Okay, so we just had like some sort of wild trip then, I guess. Approach the shops. So is is that did the did the did I lose that curse then? Yes, I did. I'm gonna buy this one. The gods look upon you favorably. Okay. All right. We now have. We should be doing extra ten damage every time we hit someone. All right, I don't know which one to go for here. I'm gonna go for this top one. The Jack of Scales. The Lizard Man's now, potency. Now a fight for the ages. Oh, hang on. I expect greatness. This man's potency allows him to nullify the magical abilities of the player's weapons and artifacts. What? Okay, but not like... It's lame. It's lame. But not like my blessing. So. Their latent magical abilities make those lizard men feared by all, even their own kind. Oh, that's you lame. play for a token now. Thanks. Oh, man. They look like, uh, dragons. They can't, I don't know, they look adorable. So he's gonna, like, totally nullify all my shit, which is hilarious. Although apparently it doesn't nullify that much. Oh, goddamn. Whoa. God damn it. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Ah, no, no. I can't tell if I'm doing more damage or not than usual. Ah. I feel like I should be because of all the blessings and whatnot. But it doesn't feel like I am. So, like, are my blessings nullified or what? No, I guess not. <laughs> Maybe not. I look ridiculous. I look really, really silly with that mask on. Hmm. Well played. Well played indeed. You have defeated something that I never expected to die. Alright, upgrades. We got the scepter. 
You move to increase speed. You start with your adventure. You start your adventures with more food. Your starting equipment has been upgraded. Rat men have had their strength increased. Bands have had their strength health increased. Lizard men have had their strength increased. Health increased. Okay then. There was six more to go. The wand represents my will in the purest sense. It is not too late for you to give up now. Go peacefully to your fate and leave me to mine. You begin to assemble a credible deck. Let us see what happens next. All right, so have a look what we get. Training so enthusiastically of the stranger in the shadows, you receive blood auction. Nice. Got a lot of these to do, actually. For defeating the bandit who looted Ember Town, you receive Ring of Justice and the Warning Signs. For exploring Brooktop Hill, you receive the Altar. For training the Nobleman, you receive the Lovers. So many cards. For going to the tavern to retrieve the woman's husband, you receive the Tavern Wager. I like how these sort of like tie into each other. Returning the belongings to the dead hero of Wandermere. Wandermere, I love the name. You receive Warcry. Returning with food for the orphans, you receive the Ring of Poverty and Charity 2. As a reward for defeating my Lizardman Jack, you receive these cards. Queen of Skulls. Uh, Lizard Dome, the Metal Ore, Holy Forge. As a reward for defeating my Lizardman Jack, you receive these new cards. Hernie's Antlers, an Undead Bane. Ooh, that could be useful. Halfway done. Let us continue. Yep. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed uh, these episodes of uh, hand of fate <laughs> if you did uh, leave a like in the comment uh, leave a like and uh, leave a comment let me know what you thought about it and uh, also if you want to get in contact with me at any reason you can do milbylp at gmail.com other than that though hope you enjoyed yourselves anyway I did and I'll see you next time to see what cards the hands of fate deal out bye